Oh, hello. You might recognize me. My name is Neil Smellstrom. Now, normally when you hear that name, you think psychopath, crazy man! But actually, I'm a scientist. I spend my days researching the one species I know is fit, truly fit, to inherit the Earth. Archilochus colubris. Able to flap its wings more than 70 times per second. It has the highest metabolism of all species on this earth. It is the ruby-throated hummingbird. First, let's look at the flight of the hummingbird. Note how even at one thirty-second speed you can't see the individual wing beats. This is because it takes a high-speed camera to capture all of the seventy beats per second that most hummingbirds can do. Hummingbirds fly by creating a swirling vortex of air beneath them, keeping them aloft in the air. Hummingbirds are attracted to the color red and eat nectar from flowers, so they mainly eat nectar from red flowers, like this one. Crikey, look at this! We got off some ants! No, I'm just kidding. But some hummingbirds do eat ants when they are feeding their young. They could also eat butterflies like this, or an ant like this. Here we see the male ruby-throated hummingbird. If you didn't notice, it has a ruby throat. It also has an emerald back, a forked tail, and no white on its tail. Here we see the female ruby-throated hummingbird, which is slightly larger than the male. It also has an emerald back, however, has a white throat instead of ruby, and a somewhat longer beak. Here, we see the nest of the ruby-throated hummingbird. The nest is constructed of lichens and is attached to the tree branch by spider silk. It is lined with any number of soft materials, including dandelions and cattails. Two small white eggs are laid within three days of each other and are incubated for about 18 to 23 days. A short time after hatching, the young birds are turned away and are treated like any other adult hummingbird, an enemy in the constant search for food. flight is actually more similar to insects than it is to other birds. Hummingbirds are also the only kind of bird that can levitate and fly backwards. This is demonstrated by this shot of a hummingbird. Hummingbirds fly 30 miles an hour normally, 50 miles an hour when escaping a predator, and they can hit 63 miles an hour when they're in a dive. Hummingbirds generate 75% of the thrust on the downstroke, 25% of the thrust in the upstroke. This is different than what was previously thought, which was that thrust was generated evenly on both the up and down strokes. I hope you enjoyed our movie and learned a lot. So what's next? What? What's next?
Bloopers! <laughs> Hummingbirds are Hummingbirds are also the only dang it. It is Archilicus Arch Cut. Hold on. Archil Arch Cut. Archil Archil It is Shake a 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 shake a